Yo, we clearly have to talk about the reaction that that I received from my top 10 list and the fact that Eminem was not on there. Like, yo, I can't even begin to tell you like how how frustrated, how mad I was at everybody who neg- who negatively reacted to the fact that Eminem was not on the list. And whether y'all want to, you know, agree or disagree with me with him being on the list or not, I don't I really don't care about that. Everything is personal preference, you know, everything everything in music is opinion based. Everything that I do, everything that you think, it's all opinion based. Everybody's list is going to be different. So if you feel like if you feel like Eminem's album and the side B to it should have been on your top 10, that's fine. You know, fuck it. I, I understand. So be it. I'm not, I'm not, I don't, I don't hate you as a person for putting it on the top 10 list. I even, I understand why you did, to be honest. What I was frustrated and what I was upset about with everybody who negatively commented on that video was, was I, I, for the first time, not for the first time, but for the first time on my channel, I had, I had, I had seen firsthand what the stand mentality is. For those of you that don't know who might be new here to either my reactions to music to be murdered by side eight or side B or what, how, however you came about the channel and decided to subscribe in case you don't know let me go ahead and give you a little bit of background on my relationship with Eminem's music and his career and everything that I think about him as an artist because I swear to God by some of the reactions that I got from some people on this channel people that I've seen in multiple videos people that I know have been subscribed to the channel for some of the negative reactions I received it blows my mind that I even have to talk about this right now. So I'm only saying it if you're new here. I have been listening to Eminem and his music for over 20 years. Just straight off the top of the dome, I can I can lyrically recite every single song all the way up until I think probably Marshall Mathers 2. Like I basically have the whole catalog, everything before that memorized, tattooed on my brain. I've been digging into his lyrics and trying to understand who he is, where he comes from as an artist and a person, more so than pretty much 95% of the people watching this video right now so the fact that people are out here saying that i like you know i use eminem's you know career i i, I build my platform on the back of eminem just just like everybody else does because i didn't put music to i didn't even say music to be murdered by was a bad album side a or side b it just didn't make my top 10 list and here i have all these stands coming at me saying that saying that i'm just using eminem's music and my reactions to his music and how hyped i get are fake that, that's just asinine to me shit it's like people forget that eminem is my is is my goat he is the greatest rapper of all time commercially pen wise sales wise popularity wise opening up avenues that rap had never had before wise like he is literally the goat in my eyes and i have people out here telling me that my my reactions are fake my genuine hypeness for eminem new eminem music is fake like get the fuck out of here with that shit if you were someone who was in that comment section saying that you are going to unsubscribe because eminem didn't make my top 10 list then do it right now get it over with i would rather have you unsubscribe than and have you sit there as someone who 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 wants to basically hear me be a yes man for everything that Eminem does and put out like that's not my personality I'm gonna keep it real around here that is what people subscribe to my channel for so if I didn't even say anything negative about Eminem I was gonna say if I said anything negative even if, if he didn't make my top 10 list and you feel like that's unsubscribe worthy fucking do it please you're doing me and you a favor because you clearly don't understand the relationship that I have to Eminem's music and more so to overall music in general so you got mad about he, him not making my top 10. There's a lot of people that didn't make my top 10 that are arguably eligible for being on that list. I just felt like other people beat him out. MGK, his album was emotional, pop, you know, punk. It, it was like, it was solid. Juice World, RIP, obviously another solid album. Eminem, since we're talking about him, another solid album. And the list goes on and on and on. But the reason my top 10 list was the way it was is because of is because of certain criteria that I wanted certain albums and artists to hit in order to make my personal top 10 list. And everybody on my top 10 list fit in one of these three main criteria. The first one being potential for a new artist. Obviously, Brent Fiaz and Santino LaSaint are brand new artists that a lot of people don't really fuck with a whole lot. They have they have a fan base, but they're not global on the sense that Eminem or, or The Weeknd or 
NF or, or, or Mac Miller, anybody that made my top 10 list other than them, they're obviously not as global as the other artists. So they made the list just straight based on the potential that they had to become a worldwide sensation. Next up was going to be the change of pace for an artist, whether it be Denzel Curry collaborating with, with Kenny Beats. That was a change of pace for Denzel, especially with the entire conceptualization with a collaborator. And then obviously we had Taylor Swift who made like, I forgot what it was, like four or three on my on my list because of the fact that she went to that, that indie pop sound, which she had never done before. She kept it very safe. She kept it very, very commercial, very commercially successful sound. But during quarantine, she strayed away and did it very well. Next up again was going to be conceptualization. Once again, Denzel Curry and uh, and Kenny Beats, and obviously number one at After Hours was a crazy huge like successful uh, con concept of an album that The Weeknd had put out. And then Circles, R.I.P. Mac Miller, being the second half of the concept to Swimming in Circles, like that's why that had been put out. And then the very last one, number four. I know I said three, but number four was the reason why Eminem's album did not make my top ten list, and that's going to be because of the emotion and the emotion that was evoked out of me compared to the other ones that made the top 10 list. Where Eminem is at in his point in his career, it's not going to move me emotionally because that's not that's not the person. That's not where he's at. Like when I'm when I'm thinking of, of rap that moves me emotionally, especially from Eminem, I'm thinking of the entire album Marshall Mathers LP. I'm thinking of the song Rock Bottom. I'm thinking of the song Brain Damage. I'm thinking of the song like Haley's song. Like I, there's there's a there's a whole list from earlier in his career that have even even the song headlights from later in his career the song beautiful the song be careful what you wish for like these songs these songs moved me emotionally but at this point where he's so high he has nothing left nothing else to prove he's not a little kid anymore he's kind of found a stride in his happiness like that he's just not going to make the kind of music that's going to make my top 10 list that doesn't mean that it's bad it's just not going to make that it's not going to deliver that one criteria the biggest criteria to make my personal 10 list what i get from eminem is going to be hype what i get from eminem is going to be fun like like godzilla is a fun ass track discombobulated is a fun ass track what i'm gonna get from eminem's music is gonna be crazy respect it's gonna be crazy mind-blowing with his technical skill the the type of writing that he does his rhyme patterns his speed his delivery switch up his 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 use of similes and metaphors and the way that he just plays with the English language better than most people could ever do. But the emotionally moving tracks, aside from darkness, it just didn't move me in the way that I wanted it for the top 10 list. If I made a list of like top 10, top 20 hype tracks in the year 2020, Eminem would be on there multiple times, I promise. That's just not what I wanted from a top 10 album. So even through all of that reasoning, people still being quick to throw me to the side, people still being quick to like completely to completely say that I'm not a fan of Eminem, that I'm just using him, that I'm using him to build my platform. All of that, everything that I just said from here prior leads me to the next point, which I promise you for a lot of people out there that are watching this video, it's going to be hard to hear. And if it's tough to hear, I'm sorry. I know that this video is probably going to get a couple of thumbs down. It's going to get some people to unsubscribe. But if you fit this mentality, if you fit what's coming next, this is a hard reality check for you to look into the mirror. So what I got to say is that for so long, ever since I started, ever since I became an Eminem fan and became obsessed with his music and obsessed with the topics and lyrics and everything that he writes about. And I, I had always been quick to defend the Eminem fan base for, for not being stands, for not being toxic, because they're just really passionate about his music in the same way that I was passionate and still am passionate about his music. But that defense came to a complete stop the moment that I started seeing the comments under my top 10 albums of 2020 video, because I saw firsthand the toxicity. And I saw firsthand the reason why Eminem's fan base gets a bad rap of being of being stands. And the worst part about it is that I know that most people do not have this Eminem can do no wrong. He walks on water. He's a god. I, I live and die by Eminem music. Most people that are passionate about his music don't have this stand toxic mentality, but it takes one person to ruin the entire experience for everybody. So if you are a stan in the sense that in the sense that you were throwing shade at me or the sense that you decided to comment that I'm going to unsubscribe, like I am talking directly about you. You are the reason why Eminem's entire fan base gets discounted as stands. You think that you're doing Eminem a favor by being such a diehard and loyal fan, but really you're hurting the mentality and you're hurting the image of Eminem and his fan base by being as toxic as you are. 
The toxicity that you have to say that you're unsubscribing from my channel or how dare I not put him in the top 10 list when, when I'm making money off of the back of Eminem. By the way, definitely not making money on any fucking reaction I do, which is why Patreon exists. But like just that mentality of... of I don't agree with you or I don't I don't like the album in the same way that you do and it didn't make my top 10 list so that automatically makes me opposition that is exactly why people roll their eyes at Eminem and and your mentality your mentality as a stan is going to be the reason why people keep Eminem off of their top 10 greatest of all time list you're actually hurting Eminem more than you're helping him by having this fucking this weird ass mentality and the reason why I say that the ultimate stan mentality is is a weird mentality mentality to have is because the whole the whole term stan originated from Eminem fans and the reason why it originated from Eminem's fans is because of the song that he has called stan and it's like y'all motherfuckers don't even realize that Eminem was like very hesitant he was very standoffish about having this relationship with stan in the song because of the psycho overboard nature that he took things and yet it's like you don't even realize that 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 Eminem himself might not even like the mentality that you have about him because of the overboard nature that you take your fandom. The motherfucker wrote a song about it. I hope you realize that the term Stan that people call Eminem fans is not coming from a loving place. It's not coming from a place of respect. It's a derogatory term toward Eminem's fan base because they act exactly like he is describing in the song Stan. And in the song Stan, once again, he's not really a fan of that type of, of, that type of mentality. But here you are thinking you're doing him a favor by having Having that yes man, Eminem can do no wrong, he walks on water type of mentality? Do you not see the fucking disconnect? The motherfucker Marshall literally said, you got some issues, Stan. I think you need some counseling to help your ass from bouncing off the walls when you get down some. And what's the shit you said that we were meant to be together? That type of shit will make me not want us to meet each other. Then he goes on in the song and saying, I'm glad I inspire you, but Stan, why are you so mad? Try to understand that I do want you as a fan. I just don't want you to do some crazy shit. Like how y'all act. I seen this one shit on the news a couple weeks ago that made me sick. Some dude was drunk and drove a car over a bridge and had his girlfriend in the trunk and she was pregnant with his kid. And in the car they found a tape and they didn't say who it was to. Come to think about it, his name was, it was you. Do you honestly think that that song, that that verse in that song came from a place of lovingness for Stan? Or is it more realistic that it came from a sense of panic? A, a, a came from a sense of like, damn, I don't want this dude to hurt himself. He's kind of he's kind of off his rocker a little bit. I should probably be a little standoffish with this type of fan. Because that is definitely the tone of Eminem's verse in that track. And it's like y'all motherfuckers don't even, don't even recognize that tone at all. If he had that tone in a fictional song about Stan, what makes you think that he doesn't have that same same weird standoffish vibe I, I don't get it I don't get that how you don't see the disconnect and the fact that you stand in the way you do when you try to discredit my name and discredit everything that I've ever said about Eminem in the past 60 videos that I've done of him that's the exact mentality that he is talking about in that song and that is the mentality that ultimately hurts his fan base and ultimately hurts the image and hurts the reputation that that he should have in rap there would be less people opposed to Eminem being the greatest rapper of all time if his fan base wasn't so fucking toxic at times and like I said 95 96 97 percent of the people watching this are not going to fall into that complete stand category but it's that stand category category that came at me in my comments which which prompted me to make this video as from one stand to another calm the fuck down i'm not coming at your personality i'm not i'm not coming at i like the album i'm not even coming at the album i'm not even as critical about the album as i've been and as i've been for for past albums like revival but the fact that it didn't make my top 10 automatically you assume that i that i'm fucking using eminem's name to for my own notoriety if i've kept it this real on the channel for so long what makes you think that i'm that i'm just like i'm throwing all that away for a fucking top 10 list Get the fuck out of here. So, yo, if you're someone who's around here because you like my you like my breakdowns, you like my reactions, which are 100 percent genuine, by the way, if you just like my vibe, if you're someone who doesn't always agree with what I say, but you're still fucking with the channel because you're a normal person who realizes that I might have a different opinion. I had a different I had a different upbringing. I have different. We're in different places in the, in the world. Everybody's going to see different thing, the same thing differently. So if you are someone who can respect that, 
and you still fucked with my top 10 list, like, yo, I appreciate you being here. But if you're one of these fucking stands that I'm talking about right here, if, if you're someone that thinks that people who don't like the album are automatically opposition, not and it's not even the fact that I don't like it, it's the fact that I do like the album and people are still criticizing me for it. That's when I realized that stands really do exist. So if you are that person, so if you're someone who has that mentality or you're someone who says that I use Eminem to build my platform, that I really don't care about his music as an artist, or if you're someone who says that because it didn't make my top 10, you're unsubscribing or you're unsubscribing for the one the one time that you didn't agree with me, I'd, I'd be glad to let you, I'd be glad for you to part ways with the channel. No hard feelings. Just realize that that mentality is going to hinder how you move in life because the world is a cold place and most people are not going to agree with everything that you say. And most people are not going to have the same opinions that you have. So don't let that stand mentality leak out into your regular life. But that's all that I really got to say, everybody. It just blew my mind, the reaction that I was getting from some people. I appreciate everybody that listened to this whole thing. I didn't plan for it to be this long, but I had a lot of shit to say. Peace.